Thanks for listening, everybody. Good morning to you, sir. Thanks for joining us. The so-called Bush Doctrine. Would you explain that? Good morning, Mr. President. Good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. I'm Diane Rehm. The top news stories this week are the Democrats' victory in Congress and new leadership at the Pentagon. Talk radio has helped people who listen to radio to understand the many, many points of view that are out there. And what my hope is, uh, is that they have taken these many, many points of view and then decided for themselves. Every week we're putting together 10 hours of programming. First hour is typically more news oriented. The second hour um, is something that's maybe not quite in the headlines, but is, is something that's inside the newspaper that's sort of been just bubbling up for a while. Even though the process of booking a show and writing a show is the same over and over again, no two shows are alike. And Diane and I can have a lot of conversation in a very short time. It doesn't, it, you can just sort of know instinctively whether it's something she wants to go with, it's something I want to go with, or maybe one of the other producers. I would like to have Stanny Hoyer mm -hmm. on Monday. Okay. If you want to do new directions for Democrats and have several consultants or players uh, or advisors in on Wednesday, I don't have a problem okay. Maybe we'll think that. of something else. Yeah. We receive 50 to 100 books every day. In most cases, we go through all those books, and out of 50, we might pick two or three. People will pitch us books, and they'll say, it's so Diane. A homing pigeon will never abandon its nest. It mates for life. In fact, the male and females will spend time equally on, on their eggs and, and raising the children. But it will never abandon its nest, so wherever you take it, it's always going to come home. I was just fascinated with it, and I, I liked the photograph on the cover. I like the background of the gentleman who wrote the book. I like the publisher, so we went with it. You know how devoted her audience is to her. You know, I just see, I can just envision people all across America going, oh, too bad when they hear that I'm guest hosting. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Diane's gone today. I'm Susan Page, and you're listening to The Diane Ream Show. I've really been struck by what a good interviewer she is. Uh, and I remember when she interviewed Hillary Rodham Clinton when she was when Hillary Clinton was first lady uh, and was promoting a book and it was like the toughest interview I'd ever seen of Hillary Clinton and she got more out of Hillary Clinton than anyone had. You know Hillary Clinton has been interviewed by a lot of people and Diane really man managed to break through with moments of um, spontaneity that I've never seen another interviewer do. The Friday News Roundup is just wild because Everything is done on Friday morning. And we now, of course, have two hours of our Friday News Roundup, the National Hour and the International Hour. It's the most fun two hours of the week because you're almost winging it, even with all the work that those producers do. They assign themselves. They do their own research. They come to me on Friday morning, ask me, what the lead should be, how I want to proceed, and then they go. Even when I'm writing, I sort of hear her voice in my head, and I, I think to myself, well, how would Diane ask that? Outgoing Defense Secretary Rumsfeld yesterday acknowledged the Iraq war isn't going well enough or fast enough. Israeli Prime Minister Olmert expressed Olmert call Anne and ask the pronunciation of the Israeli Prime Minister's name. Is it Olmert or Olmert? Ask her to find out. Thanks. Uh, Hi, Dan. Can you hold? Regret. Israeli Prime Minister Olmert expressed regret over the artillery strike. Olmert. Tragic mistake. Olmert. The emperor's old Palestinian civilians in Gaza. Hamas militants. Olmert. Olmert. Joining me for the National Hour of the Friday News Roundup. David Korn of The Nation, Gene Cummings of The Wall Street Journal, and Tony Blankley of The Washington Times. What I'm trying to do in that hour is to make sure that what the listener 
gets is a beginning, a middle, and an end. And therefore, what I'm trying to do, for example, is to blend in a caller's question with where we are in the conversation or work in an email at the appropriate point during the conversation. WMU, this is the Diane Ream Show. Did you call to be on the air? I'm going to pass that right on to Diane, and thank you so much. And also, thank you for not insisting on driving and talking. We want you to be safe. I worry about our callers. Thanks again. We have six lines for callers, um, and these are for national calls. There are two more lines for international calls. We have the name, where the person's calling from, city and state, and then their comment. And we try to make it very brief for Diane to be able to read. And uh, there's a clock, and these clocks let her know how long people have waited. And the check marks indicate who I've already talked to. The X means the line's busy. Let's go to uh, Yonkers, New York. Good morning, Matthew. You're on the air. Morning, Ms. Reams. Uh, I am a uh, U.S. Army retired. For the last two years in Iraq, we have seen a continuing, ongoing debacle. Anyone in this administration who continues to refer to weapons of mass destruction should be removed from office. Tony. You know, when, when the New York Times revealed that uh, Saddam was perhaps only a year away from being able to develop a nuclear weapon, that would have suggested that there was a danger that Saddam was capable of developing a nuclear well, weapon, which is one of the charges. Was that written Tony, by that Judith was, that Miller? was from the early, no, no, there was no, 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 this, at the time that President told us that he was close to nuclear weapons. He wasn't. He told the IAEA okay. and everyone they, they had said, had, don't okay, keep debating this. Wait no, they, no. just a minute. I'm going to get back <laughs> to the caller's first point. Is there a mandate here, Jean Cummings? Well, I think that the caller described it pretty well. When I first started doing the shows, one of the managers said to me, why do you have to have calls at all? And I said, because they always make the show more interesting, more exciting. They take us to areas we have no idea uh, that we were going in the first place. And same with the emails. We'll take a short break. When we come back, more about the elections, its outcome, its implications, your calls, stay with us. Listen, <laughs> Listen Jimmy, you all, we got to move quickly, so shorter comments, okay? I've become adept at multi-multitasking. Um, and that's what makes the show such fun for me. We can type a message here and send it to Diane. And the producer as well as I can talk to her. So it's a, a three-way conversation. Sometimes if something's wrong with the pro green, she can let us know. And then we can correct that. He says, come in and adjust his mic. We'll do it during the break. Just the it doesn't campaign sound bad. Itself. I think Nancy Pelosi's been underestimated by a lot of people. At seven minutes before the hour, you're listening to The Diane Rehm Show. Given the ambitions of its conversation, there's not anything else quite like it. It tackles the biggest, toughest, most complicated topics there are uh, for two hours every day. And it has an audience that is, I think, not neither liberal nor conservative. It's their liberals and conservatives who call in. But an audience that is so terrifically informed and interesting. And the hallmark of a democracy is that everyone has a chance to speak what they believe. But the key is that as much as you believe in one idea, you must learn to listen to the other person. You may not agree with him, but you will learn by listening and that's what we are here to offer. The Diane Ream Show is produced by Sandra Pinkard, Ad Adams, Nancy Robertson, Jonathan Smith, and Tanya Weinberg, with help from Elizabeth Terry. The engineers are Toby Schreiner and Andrew Chadwick. Dory Annisman answers the phone. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'm Diane Ream. These last 30 seconds at the Diane Ream Show our Friday News Roundup expanding next Friday. Then we had Senator Barack Obama of Illinois. I know how much you enjoyed that. I do want to thank all of you who have called.